what's going on? No Alexander here with ClassicCars.com. We are here at Formula Drift Round 6 in St. Louis. Formula Drift is a newer sport. It's been going for 16 years, so lots of new technology, lots of rule changes every year. We're going to check it out. We're going to walk through the pits soon, see what's going on, and make a good weekend of it. If you don't already know it, this is Vaughn Giddens Mustang. Let's check it out real quick. Different from the cars we build, uh, these cars are meant to steer in at a crazy angle. So if you notice the front end, a lot of crazy camber and the wheels are pushed out. They can crank that wheel all the way over and they can get that tire at just an insane angle. So although the sport originated with rear wheel drive Japanese cars, today we're gonna see pretty much everything. We've got the tried and true 240, but we also have a Viper, Ferrari, BMWs, Corvettes, pretty much everything you can get your hands on. I've noticed that there's a uh, commonality between drifting and classic cars to you. We've done a lot of stuff with LS engines and sometimes people give us crap for it, but you know what? They're reliable, you can make cheap power and it's hard to say no. All right, Alex, tell me a little bit about what you do for the team. Sure, absolutely. So I'm the crew chief for the team. So basically just kind of responsible for ensuring the car is ready to go at a moment's notice, taking care of, you know, setting the alignment, right. <clears throat> playing with damper, shock setting, making sure the car is uh, topped off with fuel and his cool suit's full of ice so Andrew's not overheating the car, things of that nature. Um, Drifting's pretty unforgiving for even the slightest mistake. Other forms of racing, you'll have you know 30 laps to make up sure. if you have an issue. Right. In drifting, you can throw your entire weekend in, in one second. That's right. You got one shot. Exactly. Yep. So you gotta make sure everything's right. Preparation is the name of the game. Um, yeah, so looking forward, I would say it's really just about developing kind of the team and, and getting everybody familiar with their roles. You right. know, we've all come together and this is only our third round. Sure. Right, so you only have three weekends really that we've ever worked together, practice what we're doing, you know. Right figure out who's responsible for what, and, sure. then, and then when things are you know, in the heat of the moment and everybody's running around and you have two people trying to do the same job and bumping heads, and right. you know, so we're just getting better with that sort of thing, and, and uh, we're definitely starting to gel and, and improve in that manner, so I'm excited for the next round. Well, best of luck to you guys. All right, so how are you feeling about this weekend? Um, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. It's Absolutely. a ple pleasure meeting you. Um, we're based in Phoenix and we made the drive all the way out here to St. Louis uh, to a new layout. They haven't ran this layout here at Gateway Motorsports Park before ever. So right. it's, it's a whole new layout, but I think it's a lot of fun. So far we've had one full two hour practice session. I got like eight laps in Sweet. and the course is fun. It flows well. It's really technical uh, compared to a lot of other Formula Drift courses. There's a couple really low speed like, airpin turns right. where you have to gas back out of it and get back up to speed and then slow down again. So. How many races do you have left in the uh, Pro 2 series? One more after this. Okay. The last round of the season is Dallas. It's about four weeks from now-ish, okay. give or take. Cool. Tell me a little about, about the car. Have you owned this car for a long time? Is it something you bought just to start racing in? Man, yeah. I bought this car in 2011. And yeah, I just drove it back and forth from school and I started doing like local drift events in it because okay. I started falling in love with drifting. So what were the first modifications you did it? What were the first modifications you did to the car to get to be able to start drifting it? Coilovers mm -hmm. first, and I believe I modified my stock knuckles was the first modification I did as far as steering angles concerned right. to, to be able to drift at, at deeper angles. So it's, it's coilovers, oh, differential. Coilovers, locking up the rear diff, and uh, and the angle modifications with right. the stock knuckles. Which I kind of think is awesome because so many racing series have such a high barrier to entry. It's hard to hard just to start, yeah. but with your story, it was something you already had. You became interested in it. You did three major modifications and you are up and running. Yeah, it, drifting's a really unique motorsport in that sense, which is in the sense that the average guy is still fairly accessible to just the average weekend dude doing it as a hobby. Um, it 
it's getting more and more serious each year. The budgets right. seem to climb a little bit, sure. but currently it's still very accessible compared to other motorsports. So how many, did you race in the amateur series for a few years? Is that kind of how it went? Yes, there's right. a there's feeder series, various feeder series around the country, right. which uh, if you finish high enough in their championship, they give out licenses to compete in the Formula Drift sanctioning okay. body. So I competed for like three years, I believe, in the Southwest Drift Series, which is okay. ran out of Vegas. And on the third year, I placed third in the championship. So just squeaked in there and got my license. They only give them to the top three spots at the right. end of the season. Um, nice. That was 2017, I got okay. my license. Took a year off to build the car, build the program, make it competitive. Uh, so now in 2019, we're here and able to do the full season and have a piece of equipment that works well for it. Uh, no Alexander and Andrew Schulte signing off here. Thanks for showing me around. It was awesome to learn more about Formula Drift.